Hi, hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest. Uh, we're back, not at the pup's den for once. Uh, we're actually out claiming our territory. Um, last episode was quite. Ooh, a dam. <gasps> oh, cool. Wait, did beavers exist? Would beavers come out? Ooh, that's super cool. Uh, anyway, as I was trying to say, we were we are claiming our territory right now, so. Okay, I thought that was a cougar. Um, that's a moose, surely. Or is that the same thing? Nope, it's not a moose. <laughs> um, we're claiming our territory because, oh my goodness. The, uh, the lightning is quite loud. Because the um, other two, or other three, I guess, the other three territories are actually really pushing in on our, on our territory um, for some reason. They're like really expanding their territory right now for some reason. Um, but wow, look at all this. All this water. So it's still raining, which is really annoying. I really don't like it when it rains. What's that? Is that a carcass? Oh, it's a rock. <laughs> um, yeah, they must be expanding for some reason. Their pups must be getting bigger now and they want, want, they want bigger territory. There's more of them. They want more territory, but they're... Also, really pushing in on our territory, and obviously, we're the same. We Our pups are getting bigger, we want bigger territory. But we're sort of just like sticking to the territory we claimed at the start. Whereas they're not. They're definitely not. They're um, really coming in on us. So, as of right now- oh my gosh, the affinity is going so low, we might need to go to the back of the pups like now. Yeah, I think it's time to go back for the pups, simply because of our affinity, and if we leave it too long then they'll start leaving the den, and we don't want that of course. There's a den right there. Um, oh, I also wanted to look at the um, summer rendezvous sites on the map. So, the rendezvous site I was thinking of going to is... Uh, I had the pet toy toys quick. Uh, this one or this one? Or these two? Um, I feel like... If we did it on these two, we'd be a lot more safer from these these territories back here. Because we're like almost central to our territory, so there's not really much going on. Um, whereas obviously with this one, it would be like right next to these these guys. I think they'd be more likely to attack us. So I think going to these two would be our best bet. So we've just been we've just been by there. I guess it's not too far away, but it's it's a lot a lot further than I would have liked to uh, travel to get our pups safe or to the rendezvous site I guess they aren't I thought there were a lot more rendezvous sites than there actually are oh my goodness we're on top of this massive big rock uh, I don't know how we're gonna get to the the pups from here but can we just swim I guess we'll just swim this is gonna take forever so let's just look around for anything it's very foggy I don't like it when it's like this um hopefully when we sleep it'll um go away that's um, a deer, I think, up there. Um, but we want to make sure that the pups don't, you know, the affinity doesn't get too low while we're swimming across this massive big lake. We probably would have been better if we just went around it, to be honest. Um, oh, wow, that lit up quite nicely. I'm really nervous because I'm pretty sure that a... I just see something running. I think it might be a bird. Um, really worried that something's going to come after our pups while we're there we're really tired i really want to sleep but also a lot of our territory is getting quite low and i'm really worried about that but i do think we might need to sleep Ooh, i hate this i really do i don't want to get too close to our pups because i want to make sure that we look around the area for any predators before we go back oh my goodness the pups are going to leave for the time we get there. It's being so slow. How far have we gotten? Maybe we're like halfway there, I guess. But jeez, it takes so long to swim. I hate this lightning so much. I really wish it would go away. It's been on for like a couple days now. We had it all last episode as well. It's very, very annoying. Oh my goodness. It's gonna take us forever to get across this bit. Come on, we're almost there. I do want to feed them before we go inside, but at the same time, I. Um, 
I'm worried. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh my goodness. They've grown since we've been gone. Okay, um, how hungry are they? They're not, they're not all too hungry, so I might just go inside with them. <gasps> What's that? That's a bunny, right? Oh god, I'm so nervous. It's so dark that that's the thing that I'm worried about. Like, if there's a cougar hiding, we're kind of screwed, because I literally... I can barely find the den right now. It's up there, okay. Look around quick. Right, I'm gonna go... No, go inside. I really don't trust this right now. Go inside, please. Oh, I can't walk because of this stuff. <gasps> They're huge! Oh no, it's not flooded, is it? No, you're kidding me! I'm gonna scream. Oh! No, no, I'm not okay with this. Not right now, we need to sleep. We're nowhere near- Oh my god, you're- you're kidding me. I hate the rainstorms! What is- Oh my god, the next den is like- That was our old den, that one's abandoned. That's our old den, that one's abandoned. That's our old den, that one's abandoned. That one's obviously now our old den, it's abandoned. The closest one we have is here. We might as well just feed them up and get them to the rendezvous site. But I want to sleep. We're so tired. Move to a new den. Oh, for goodness sake, you're kidding me. I don't want to move again. Right, feed them. Just feed them. What are we gonna do? I don't know where we can- Oh my god, I'm just having a panic attack right now because I don't know where to put my pups. I'm so scared. So scared. What do we do? Oh my gosh. This is giving me too much anxiety, I can't. I play the games to get away from my anxiety, but it's scaring me. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I sound like such a baby, but I'm so scared. I don't want my pops to have to move to 10 again. I was really hoping that... <sighs> can we sleep while we're like out of our den? Like when we don't have a den, can we just sleep on the floor while our pups are in like a patch of grass? Okay, this is really hard for me to do, but... We're gonna go to this patch of grass over here. And what I'm gonna do, hang on, does, does, does fleas matter here? No, fleas don't happen, so luckily are, lucky for us. We're gonna live here for a second. Do, will they listen to us? Because our affinity is so low. Right, everyone come inside, come inside. Um, and then we're gonna sleep. Oh, there's a little patch of grass up there, but... We're gonna sleep. They're in the den. Or they're in the patch of grass, so they should be okay. And I'm hoping that the, the rain will stop. But I, um, I looked it up and apparently you can actually live without a den... ...forever. You don't have to have a den. Like, ever. So if we just stay here by the lake forever, um, they should be okay. Let's have a look at the pack info. <gasps> okay, so they're all hidden, thank goodness. We can check to see um, if they're hidden or not, I guess. Um, they're all at 15 pounds of pop eclipse. He's at 14.9, but he's quite hungry. So if we do feed him now, I'm just making sure that while we are hidden, 
nothing's gonna come around. There is something over there swimming, but it, if it is coming towards us, it won't be here for a long time. So I think if we just get up, and we regurgitate some food for them. Oh, they're, they're still in the den, so they can come out now, I think. I think it's, it's dark right now, but um, we can feed them for a second. I'm gonna roll a bit. I'm gonna try and get our affinity up a little bit. Yes! Okay, thank goodness! Oh! You've grown your pups! Oh, thank goodness. I really was not in the mood to um, move to another den right now. We'll, we'll move to a rendezvous site, thank goodness. Well done! You've grown- your pups have each grown to 15 pounds. Is that it? <gasps> What's happening? No! Stop! Oh, okay. <laughs> what was that noise? Did you hear that? It sounded like a wolf, like, barked or growled or something. I'm very paranoid, I'm really worried, um, my heart is racing right now. I'm very- I'm a very nervous person, especially when it comes to, um, looking after these tiny little babies. I feel very responsible and they feel very real to me. <laughs> I'm very attached to my pups. I would um, be heartbroken if they did die, so. Um, let's read this. Journey to the summer home. Your pups are now two months old. Their bodies, though still small, are tough enough to make the- are tough enough to protect them from the elements. They no longer need the den and the fleas that make it unappealing anyways. Now's the time to journey to a good place to spend the summer. This is known as the rendezvous site. Few. I don't know why- okay, I noticed this a minute ago, but I didn't say anything. Um, our affinity, like, thing has come, like, really high. So, like, if you remember from, like, right at the beginning, it said, to, um... The affinity bar... had, like, a little arrow, and it was around- it was, like, down here, and it said, if- if they, um... If you have less affinity than that, then you will- like, your pups will be more likely to leave the den without you. But right now, it's, like, up here. And I don't understand why. Um, but I guess... I don't know, I'm really confused. So if anybody knows, I guess, like, tell me. <laughs> there are many good places in Slow Creek, in the Slow Creek area to choose as your home base for the summer. You need a spot with sun and shade, a tall grass for the pups to hide in while you're away, and nearby water. Since the outcurves have migrated to higher elevations, you might want to move there as well, in the northern and southern areas of the maps. Let's have a look. Oh. Uh, where to go? Check the world map to see all the potential rendezvous sites. We've already checked that, thankfully. Uh, nearby sites will also appear on the compass. Oh, cool. Decide on one, then lead your pups to their new home. Watch out for predators as you travel. That was the worst thing to say. I already know about the predators, but that just made me even more, anxi <laughs> even more anxious about it. Um... If you need to go hunting or between dens, find a patch of cool grass and wolf to tell your pups to hide themselves in it. Uh, they will be safe while you're away. You can also send them into tall grass if a predator approaches and you need to chase it away. Squeak to call them ag out again. Um, we're going to go to sleep here now anyway. I just want to raise the affinity a little bit so they're not... Okay, Onyx, where are you going? Thank you. We're going to leave We're gonna uh, leave when it's when it's daytime. I also need to make sure that we don't, um, don't go over time with the recording, so. I want to get our affinity up too, though. Please. Please play with me. I do really want to get our affinity up a little bit more. Oh, applause giving them food as well. Good. Um, I'm going to make them go inside again in a second. Just want to make sure that they're all fed and happy. They're all fed. They're all happy. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, what are they at? Wow. Comet, Onyx, and Atlas. Almost at uh, 16 pounds already. That is absolutely crazy. Oh, I'm really nervous. <laughs> okay, let's get them inside. Oh, wait. That's not what I, was, what I was checking. I was checking to see how hungry they were. They're all pretty much full. So let's get them back inside. You guys, go home. There's something down there. I assume it's a rabbit, but um, if I look at the thing, it says they're all hidden. Okay. Does that mean I can go with, like as far away as possible from them and they won't come follow us? I don't know. Not too sure. I, I assume it doesn't mean that we can just leave and go like really far away and they just won't follow us. 
Oh, there are some some things over there. We do need to eat, that's the thing. But we're also really tired, so we need to sleep. Um, oh, there's still a storm over there. I'm really hoping that it doesn't come up to us because I'm too tired for this. <laughs> I'm so stressed. I don't want another storm. That's what I was trying to sleep for. I was trying to sleep to get the, the thing away from us. Right, let's, uh, let's sleep again. Have a little sleep. Make sure the pups are all okay. They're all sleeping. Okay, thank goodness. It's daytime. We can actually see stuff now. I don't know why I'm looking around because like... It never shows any other creatures when we're like this. I remember one time we were looking around like all like um all cautious and stuff and then like <gasps> Oh our territory is really being pushed back. We need to fight back. Goodness, I I just wanted you to sleep, like <sighs> um they're not hidden anymore. Yeah, I remember one time that I was sleeping and I was looking out, uh, keeping watch while I was asleep and all of a sudden I woke up and there was a wolf right in front of my face. Um, so, sleep view doesn't really... Um, go inside, guys. There's a thing coming for us. Go inside. I'm just going to make sure that they're all um, hidden before. Comet, get inside now. Atlas! Oh my god! That pup, I swear to god. Right, let's go. Let's go get him. I can't believe they're not going inside! They're not listening to me! Okay, they are inside. They're all hidden, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, that was not okay. They all started walking around and running away from us. Um, right, so we're gonna have to find... We're really gonna have to find... Um, a rendezvous site soon. Okay, I guess this one's quite close, but I do think this one would, would be best for our pups. I really should have checked out the route before we even started. Right, is it this way? Yeah, it's that direction. Can we leave them here? Or not? I mean, it says we can we can leave them in the, the, um, this little grass while we go hunting. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Look, Atlas and Comet, you aren't hidden at all. If a cougar came over, they would see you instantly. Right. I guess you guys can come out now. Thank you. Thank you for being hiding nicely. Uh, and I'll feed you again right now. And then I'll try and raise the affinity a bit more as well. Just because they... Still don't seem to trust me very much. Not trust me, but like they still, they're not very um loving of me right now. I am trying, they're just not They're not listening to me, guys. I know you're hungry, but I really want to like make friends. <laughs> Aw, they all look really cute. Oh, you've all grown so much. I wasn't meant to feed on Onyx, but you know. Awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. So they're all, they're all 15 pounds. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Uh, we just need to make sure that we don't... Or we need to make sure that we head to the rendezvous site safely. Um, oh, look at Calypso's little stick. Right, everyone eat as much as possible because we probably won't be able to feed you while we're out. Unless we go hunting now. We might as well go hunting now, shouldn't we? catch like an elk or something not an elk like a uh, deer or something um how good are the how good are the hunger oh they're, they're they're kind of hungry let's give them a bit more oh yeah we're gonna need to go hunting because yeah i wonder if there's like you know the ungulates that they said about the uh, the baby ones i wonder if we could still find those things i don't know if the time has passed or not it'd be cool to give them give them another one of those um but i guess for right now i'll just play with them once more yeah no more socializing i literally socialize once and they're like no more socializing with your pups i just want to i just want to socialize okay <laughs> um let's get them to go inside uh or just hide for a bit i guess and we're gonna go and 
Good, they're all inside. Okay. That is all of them, right? Can't see for what. Wow, look at the territory. Oh my goodness. I am so upset. I'm deeply upset. I can't believe this is what happened to our territory. I'm going to head in the direction of the rendezvous site. As of right now. Well, we've got a rabbit. We can, um... Mm, while we're here, we might as well give it to the pups. So, let's call them out. Um, there we go. Call the pups out. Give them the hair carcass. Come on then. It's for you. Not for me. Not for me. There you go. Have you eaten it all? <laughs> oh, they are really cute. Look at them. They're so big now. They're huge. Isn't that crazy? They're like almost half the size of us now. Have you finished with it? Are you done? Oh. They are very cute. I'm just very paranoid when it comes to keeping them safe. Cause if you think about all the uh, all of the predators that are after them, I think I have a I, ha I think I have a reason for being so paranoid about them. Come on then, Leo, go inside. I know your affinity our affinity isn't very high, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just quickly go to the rendezvous site we're gonna head to, and while we're on our way there, we're gonna um, try and hunt a bit. So I'm gonna leave them behind. I'm sorry, guys. Just looking around to see if any predators were actually around while I left. Um, let's go. I assume- is Apollo not just gonna- No, I think Apollo's gonna stay with the pups. Which is fair enough. But let's run as fast as we can to the, the rendezvous site and find out whereabouts it is. Um, and while the pups are staying hidden, I'm happy for them to stay there. Um, like I said, I think- I've heard that, um... You actually- you can have the whole game without a den. You can like live the, the live the whole game without a den, which is actually quite cool. Oh look, that bear's got two cubs. That's quite cute. Um, I'm just checking out where the rendezvous site is. That's the problem. I think it might be around this lake. Um. So we're going to have to go round the whole thing. Oh, is this it? This isn't it, is it? Like, right here? <gasps> it's just here. I think this is it. Unless it's this one? Oh, there's two! Like, obviously right next to each other. I don't know if Pops can actually walk across the water. I mean, it's quite... It's very... Um, shallow. I'm sure they'd be able to. If not, then we just have to carry them across, which is fine by me. But we have this lovely little site here. I'm going to go and try and catch something for the pups to eat because we are very hungry. But I, I really did think that we were going to have to go like around the whole lake. Um, I don't want to be far from them for very long. So I do want to try and catch this little thing. Hopefully it doesn't go in the water, but I think it will. Hello. Sadly, we don't have Apollo with us, so it's going to take quite a while to actually uh, kill this one. Probably going to lose a bit of health, but that's fine. We're just going to... And then I think um, we'll start journeying to the Summer Rendezvous site next episode, because I think this episode's probably been quite long already. Uh, we've had quite a bit happen, and I was a bit stressed this episode, so... <laughs> Uh, I think I might need to have a break before we do end up actually going on our journey. So I'm just going to eat as much as we possibly can, try and get as much for the pups as we can, and then we'll actually be at the rendezvous site, and I'm really excited to go there. Let's get, grab, a, grab a chunk from that, and then... Wow, a lot of this territory is really low. I don't know if... I'm not going to do it now, but I think next episode we're going to have to journey to the rendezvous site first and then we're going to have to have a really good 
go at our territory. We're gonna have to have a really good um, remarking day. <laughs> but honestly, for now, I think I might have to end it here because of how long it is. And I'm hoping that next episode we can have a relatively chill journey to the rendezvous site. Hopefully it shouldn't be that stressful. Um, I'm sure there's probably going to be a bunch of um, long grass on the way. So, oh hello. That uh, was not okay. There's one here, which is the actual rendezvous site. There's one there, there's one there. So that shouldn't be too bad. Um... Oh, there's quite a bit of gap between- oh, there's, there's one there, the next one I meant. There's two bears- uh, three bears, I mean, one bear with um, two babies. And then the next one is... there. I'm just gonna try and keep them walking in a straight line. There's one there. Oh, a couple here, actually. There's one there, there's one there. And then, hopefully the journey doesn't take too long. Let's just have a look around before we actually get to the pups. Um, but Apollo's having a nice little little old time with them. So the the spaces between the the um grasses aren't too too big. So hopefully we shouldn't be too long. But let's have a look at the pack info again. Yeah, they're already at 16 pounds. Uh, most of them are. Uh, even Eclipse is almost that big, so yeah, I think I'm going to end this one here before we get the pups out and something comes for us. Um, I'm going to end this one here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!